breaking news, everyone. Bazookas are being shot off by Sanders supporters at the Nevada Convention. We're going live with our correspondent on scene, Aladdin. Aladdin, tell me, are you in any danger? What's going on there? The Democratic Party leadership and the Sanders campaign that we really have not seen in this primary season so far. The fears that the tactics employed by Bernie Sanders supporters uh, by shouting, heckling, screaming, and in some cases, some reports of, as you mentioned, throwing of chairs has caused a lot of fear. Disgusting! This should never take place in an allegory. I don't understand what's going uh, on! By shouting, heckling, screaming, and in some cases, some reports of, as you mentioned, throwing of chairs has caused a lot of fears among the party leadership. I suspect it would! I, how dare these delegates? Who gave these delegates permission to vote? That this could spill into the convention in Philadelphia in July. Now, uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign says that they were not responsible for that, but uh, CNN... Oh, does he now? I personally saw him there with a bazooka! My God, this is disgusting! I am outraged at this! ...and has obtained audio of a, of a top... You have had Sanders me. official, John Cato, speaking to Cato. Sanders supporters before this... I don't this. trust that name. Hmm. Continue, it's continue. Con ...before this convention on Saturday, urging them to really take a firm line against the party leader. This is going to be intense. If you have a small child, I suggest you have them leave the room. Viewer discretion is advised. You should not leave. I'm going to repeat that. Unless you are told by somebody from the campaign, i.e. probably me or David, that you can leave, you should not leave. I don't care if the chair is up there herself. Oh or whoever the chair is and oh. become whoever becomes the chair, you should not leave. OUTRAGEOUS! HOW DARE SHE TELL PEOPLE TO STAY THERE AND THEN SHOOT HILLARY CLINTON SUPPORTERS IN THE HEAD AND FEAST ON THE GOO INSIDE! MY GOD, MAN! WHAT'S THIS WORLD COMING TO?! OUTRAGEOUS! <laughs> CONTINUE, ALADDIN. Now, uh, one person who did speak at that convention was Barbara Boxer, the California Democratic Senator, on behalf of Hillary Clinton's campaign. She was, there was loud cursing, there were uh, uh, vile comments, there were references uh, to the female anatomy. What? They made references to her floppy vagina? How dare they? My God! What has this world come to? Do we not own it anymore? Really crude gestures that she said, I got a chance to talk to her about it. She says, to say that they were disrespectful does not even, does not even uh, really do justice to what Of course not, Aladdin. My God. Experienced anything like this before. Other Democratic senators... Look at that. He clearly tried to stab him. This is disgraceful. I don't know what to say about this, Aladdin. I mean, this is, this is outrageous. Who gave these delegates the idea that they could come to a convention and vote! What, what is this world coming to? Have we not paid them off? What is going on? I demand answers! About California Democrat Dianne Feinstein even said that she thinks that Bernie Sanders should drop out uh, after June 7th when voting concludes. Now, the Democratic Party... She, he should drop out on June 7th after voting concludes? Okay. Well, that seems to make sense, I think. To drop out after the race is over. I believe. I'm not sure. Continue, Aladdin. The, continue. The National Convention has responded to this. I'll read you a statement from, from what they are saying right now, Brooke. They said, We are deeply concerned about the troubling details laid out in the letter by the De Nevada Democratic Party. We'll be reaching out to the leadership of both of our campaigns to ask them to stand with the Democratic Party and denouncing and taping, taking steps to prevent the type of behavior on display over the weekend in Las Vegas. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Now tell me, Aladdin. How's Jafar? I heard she barely won in Kentucky. Now Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump are the candidates with a head of steam, guys. Help me figure out the math here. So if Bernie Sanders puts all the bankers in jail, mm -hmm. he can't tax them 100%, then he can't pay for all the free stuff. But see, I mean, the math doesn't work. People are going to figure that out at some point, right? You are summarizing some of the objections.